Hi there, thanks so much for joining us here on this Friday as we usher you into the weekend. I'm Jeff Smith. Kaylee is on assignment. Another hot and humid day out there. Temps in the 90s and man, oh man, that looks enjoyable, doesn't it? Many kids spending the day out at the Glass City Metro Park splash pad. Team coverage continues tonight on the heat wave and of course staying safe over the next few days. Megan Hardnett, she spent the day talking with people and finding out how they've been trying to keep cool. Silver Barker also checking in with the local fire department about responding to heat re related illnesses and the calls that they've gotten this week. And meteorologist John Birchfield is tracking what is in store for tonight and also the weekend. Let's begin with John. Hi, John. Hey Jeff, the heat wave is nearing an end. We have one more alert day into your Saturday where temperatures will once again exceed the 90 degree mark. Most areas seeing that hazy sunshine this early evening and temperatures ranging from the 80s along the lake shore to the mid 90s down in Putnam and Hancock counties. 95 in Defiance, 90 in Hillsdale and 93 in Fulton County. Now, unlike yesterday, radar is actually fairly quiet right now. We did see some pop up storms earlier, especially up towards Monroe, Michigan, Erie and Huron counties also got drenched at about 2 to 3 p.m. this afternoon. Right now, most of the activity in terms of those pop ups located between Detroit and Flint and also near Youngstown and Akron, Ohio and far eastern Ohio, pushing into Pennsylvania. That leaves northwest Ohio largely dry, and I do expect it'll stay that way for the remainder of the evening, hour by hour. Other than a brief shower through about 7 p.m., we are looking at dry conditions for your Friday night to ring in the weekend. It is going to be a very muggy feel overnight night tonight. Saturday featuring extremely hot and sunny conditions. 98 degrees the high temperature. Now the one nice part about the forecast is the wind. There is going to be a bit of a southwest breeze at 10 to 20 miles an hour and that breeze will make a slight difference in how it feels. The current standing record is 99 set back in 1988 and we're going to be close to that record with temperatures that will be in the upper 90s. The heat wave is nearing an end though. I'll show you when relief arrives and humidity drops in your full 10 day forecast. That breeze is going to feel like a hot hair dryer, John. <laughs> uh, we have been talking about the hot weather all week, but how are people really staying cool while still enjoying being outdoors? Megan Hardnett, she went out to see how people were doing it at the Glass City Metro Park and how they were spending their summer days. Megan? Jeff, a lot of families have been spending time at the pool, splash pads, biking, but for some, it was time to take a break and cool down inside. Super hot. Humid, very warm, <laughs> muggy. It's pretty gross feeling. <laughs> well, it's been hot. We've been sweating. Hot. It's really hot. Yeah. It's sweltering outside. So even first thing this morning, I feel like I was out doing a little bit of yard work and it was awful. Today is hot, so we came to the water park. And obviously we get ice cream. We here. Always get ice cream. Um, we've been swimming a lot, so we have a pool at home. Yeah, Lots we like coming to the splash pad a lot. I have a one-year-old, so he loves climbing on all the stuff and going in the waterfall. And... My favorite thing is the waterfall, because when you run through it, it feels like it's raining. We went down and played at the park, and then we went to this little river spot over here. It kept us a little cool and nice. We've been spending a lot of time at the pool, outside in our kiddie pool, um, and at a friend's pool. We having fun. It's a lot of people out here. It's just having fun. A lot of kids, so they enjoy their day on a hot summer day. We've been trying to take a lot of bike rides and spend time outside, but also we needed to take a little bit of a break from the sun and the heat today. Well, we decided to come bowling, which we haven't done in years. It's perfect in here. It's air conditioned. It's comfortable. It's almost like you forget for a little bit that it's yeah. so hot outside. It's been fun. They're having fun. They got some stairs so I like far. Bowling. We Yep, and everybody likes bowling. Burning hot. It's like, like very humid and muggy. Yeah. It's hot, hot. <laughs> the manager of Timber Bowling Alley says it's been a busy week with people trying to stay cool. Most of the people I spoke with say they've been finding ways to enjoy the heat, but they're ready for the temperatures to start dropping back down. Reporting in studio, Megan Hartnett, WTOL 11. Well, keeping your skin safe while you're outside means making sure that you're using the right products with the right ingredients. A safe amount of sunscreen is about a shot glass worth to exposed areas. And they say you should be using sunscreens with an SPF value of 30 or above. Doctors also recommend using sunscreens with ingredients like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide since they reflect the sun, helping protect yourself against harmful wavelengths. 
What time of day you're outside? Well, that's also extremely important. The worst rays that are going to be affecting your skin are between the hours of 10 and 4 p.m. So what you want to do, you want to apply the sunscreen 30 minutes before you go outside and preferably try to avoid those uh, times of day. Lastly, there is sun protective clothing that you can buy that will help shield yourself from harmful rays, but they should still be used, they say, alongside with sunscreen. Still on the subject of sunscreen, this week has certainly required a lot of it as we have been experiencing those high temps. The University of Toledo Medical Center says most of its heat related incidents have been from sunburns and also dehydration. Our Silver Barker, she spoke with their emergency department director and she now joins us live in studio with this update. Silver. Yeah, UTMC's emergency department director, Dr. William Saunders, says they've responded to a few heat related emergencies this week, the highest being Tuesday. Saunders advises people to prevent sunburn by wearing clothes that cover the skin and putting on lotion or sunscreen, of course, even when it isn't sunny out as rays can still affect your skin. He also says they've had a lot of dehydration emergencies this week, which he says all can best be prevented by taking the following steps. Keep things simple. Always wear protection from the sun, sunglasses, clothing, and lotion. Always stay hydrated. Uh, at least water, if not something with electrolytes in it, like a Gatorade or Powerade, uh, because the more you sweat, the more you lose electrolytes, and we want to prevent that from being the issue that brings you to the hospital. We also reached out to local fire departments, Monclova Township, Lake Township, Perrysburg, and Rossford. They all say they've received very little to none heat-related emergency calls this week. Reporting in studio, Silver Barker, WTOL 11. Well, many cooling centers will be open this weekend. Several places will be open in Wood, Fulton, and Williams counties. We've got a full list of locations on our website right now. You can check it out at WTOL.com.